Absolutely. The Autumn Festival has been a great success for Cayman Bragg. We've had a lot of people come over, um, you know, just to relax and unwind, but to enjoy the arts and um, fellowship with, with Braggers, you know. We have people who cook traditional Caymanian meals during the event. We have artisans and crafters, fine artists, poets. Um, so it's really a full weekend of, of an artistic environment. The Bragg Heritage Autumn Festival. I love the peaceful sunrise and watching Kim and Bragg's morning bloom to feel the cool and comfort early breeze mixed with dew. I love the salt water and salt air. They make me feel alive and into a wavy quietness I wait to swim and dive. Autumn Festival. The Bright Heritage Autumn Festival. Heritage Autumn Festival. Welcome to Kim, Kim Brack Heritage Autumn Festival. This book is dedicated to Lana Poltevart, used to be her exec, and wonderful treasurer, and Jude Walton, a volunteer of Brack Heritage Autumn Festival. They both recently passed in 2020 and 2019. So Kim Brack Heritage Autumn Festival is a Kim and Allen's registered nonprofit organization. It was formed in 2018 by Liz Walton Thompson and Simone Scott to celebrate, showcase, and preserve our Caymanian cultural heritage through the arts. Organizing an, an annual autumn theme festival for the public to attend. All of the photographs were taken in Kim and Bright. Mm -hmm. um, but she just gave me way to write how I pleased then. Mm -hmm. You know, right. it, there, there weren't any restrictions on, on whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's the, what I felt when I saw it mm -hmm. initially. And I just sort of... Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I just, just wrote and, and I was like, okay, I'm not changing it. This is what I felt when I saw it. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. And, and mm -hmm. how, how long did it take for, for, for conception to, to when you were finished, your finished product? Um, probably about a year, okay. a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Um, so a I had the poems written, but it was just time constraints. Yeah. Just getting, yeah, okay. you know, ducks and, roll and, and funding. And Excellent. I want to say a big thank you to CNCF because they did um, give us a grant towards this, mm -hmm. which made it possible. So yeah. CNCF. Perfect. Perfect. So le let me put you on the spot. I mm -hmm. see the book here. Yes. Uh, can we hear a little bit of the poetry? Maybe a I was expecting that. Oh, you was expecting that. <laughs> Everybody knows my bad ways yeah. already. Oh, my goodness. Um, the poem that I'm going to read, um, because, of course, we're on radio, so they can't see the photograph, but mm -hmm. it's a photograph that she took of a little red dragonfly, and he's sitting on a twig in the middle of saltwater pond in Kim and Bright. Um, over the last few months, there have been a lot of debates on whether they should develop it into a marina or they shouldn't. Um, so my poem sort of grew from that, mm -hmm. but also from the, you know, Caymanians were ever changing. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I wanted to find a way to be more than what I am. I sit here on a twig of a mangrove set in saltwater pond, awaiting my destiny, my fate, my purpose. I wanted to find a way to be more than what I am. 
I see the things that few do because their lives fly by while I fly by. Seeing our doom, our end, our beginning, I wanted to find a way to be more than what I am. I fought against the winds of change and I almost lost my life. Feeling misplaced, misunderstood, underestimated. I wanted to find a way to be more than what I am. Nice. Beautiful. Very nice. Oh Thank my you. goodness. And and as you said, um, the pictures give half the story. Right. And then it it's also visual and audio. So you have mm -hmm. the opportunity to talk about it with your kids. Right. About right. you know, things that's gonna affect them. It was quite the adventure. Sponsored by the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Tourism.